So if you're a photographer, a lot of your business can actually depend on your personal connections and how willing you are to put yourself out there. And that's great, but if you're introverted like I once was, that can be pretty disheartening. So we're gonna talk about a few things that you can do to get out of your introverted shell and start acting more like an extrovert. And you might be thinking, Humberto, I definitely don't wanna do that, that sounds very uncomfortable, but it's important to know why we're doing it. And one of the biggest reasons is, let's be honest, being open comes with a lot of benefits. It's well been documented that extroverts typically earn more than their introverted counterparts. And this is especially true in creative fields where a lot of the success depends on your personality. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna approach this head on. And that's gonna mean taking responsibility and identifying that this might be something that we actually need to improve. Because we're not gonna get any results if we don't want the change to happen. And if this is something that gives you anxiety or maybe even makes you a little bit frightful or fearful, then the best thing we can do is actually get more exposure to it. So that's where we're gonna start. So to get more exposure to this, we're actually gonna put ourselves in some pretty easy situations where we can build up. And one of the very first things I implemented was just a very simple technique that I would use in order to make myself more open and more accustomed to making conversations with people. So what I did is I made it a task that every time I went to a checkout or anytime I had some sort of transaction with somebody, I would always try to strike up a conversation. And the easiest way to do that is actually find a way to compliment people without making it about aesthetics or being interested in something about them. So an easy example would be, imagine you're at a grocery store and you get to the checkout counter and the lady that's about to check you out is a nice older woman, maybe about the age of your mother, and she's wearing a nice pair of earrings. This is a good chance to actually start practicing your conversation starters and being generally more open. But the key here is, especially if they're of the opposite sex, is don't start off with compliments on their appearance or their look. So this is actually a really easy way to start a conversation. And as you progress, you can extend the conversation by being more interested in them. And what you'll probably find is that people are usually pretty receptive to having conversations with people that are interested in them. Another benefit is that when you compliment people and you're actually interested in them, you can actually be making their day or week and you can give them something to talk about with their friends and something to actually be happy about. And the purpose of this exercise is so you get so comfortable having conversations with people, being interested in them so that they can be genuinely interested in you, so that when the time comes and there is somebody that you definitely want to meet, you don't mess it up because you've been practicing with people genuinely and when the time comes, you're ready. And it's gonna come off natural and very sincere. And this can be a very powerful marketing tool that doesn't cost you anything. Imagine you're a portrait photographer and you meet three to five new people every day. After just a few weeks, you'll have known a few hundred more people. And if any of these people were some of those business owners that you could possibly collaborate with, that can give you access to hundreds of other people in a different circle that you normally wouldn't have access to. And even if you just got just a handful of those people to turn into paying clients, it's all the worth it because it's something you're doing throughout your day, doesn't take any more effort, can genuinely build you and other people positive connections. And this is just the start because this can actually carry over to improving your phone consultations, your consultations, even your sales sessions if you're doing IPS. So with that much on the line, I'm challenging you to carry this out. And because I don't wanna make the video 20 minutes long, I'm actually gonna put some other examples and put in some other exercises that you can follow that'll help you build personal connections and improve your ability to connect with others. And nothing says you can't do this online. So while you can do this in person and build just a handful every single day, you can definitely do this on Facebook and Instagram and build dozens every single day and scale that much quicker. So if you have any other suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.